statement? Yeah, those guys were, uh, I guess, talking when uh, I came down. So, I mean, I thought we got beat uh, at every aspect of the game tonight. But it really comes down to conference play toughness. And the game was a lot more rough than any game we've played, uh, except for maybe one this season. Uh, so we're going to have to change. I'm going to have to change a little bit how we coach and how we play. I guess it's going to be a little bit more of a grab and hold and, and push game, which uh, we, we know would be in conference play. Um, and we got to get better. I thought our I thought our offense once again was was not very good. It led to easy baskets and then a couple of plays that gave them a nine point half halftime lead. Um, I thought were crucial in uh, them getting that cushion and pulling away. And I guess obviously our shooting percentage uh, from three was fantastic. Thank you. The offense had looked kind of like what you wanted the past couple of games, and you've been able to get out and run and do some things when it. Kind of got slowed down with some of the bigger guys out there. Was that just? Is it hard to operate when you're in that, in that situation? Well, we didn't force many uh, turnovers or get really second. You know those clean rebounds that we're accustomed to to get out and transition. I don't, re I don't really know. Um, but we have two fast break points. Well, that uh, that pretty much tells it. And you know the story of the the uh, year at times when we haven't played well has been ten assists to fifteen turnovers. But there was ten turnovers at the half. Um, and so. Um, you know, we got to get better. We got to get better with the ball. We have to share the ball more, and we have to make better decisions. And then, um, once you do all those things, put the ball in the basket. If you do all that and it misses, then it's not really worth it. Terry, when you, when you guys are struggling for a basket, you have, you have three stretches of five minutes or longer without without one. And is is it hard to know right now who to who to give who who's the guy that they can go and try to to, to get a basket when, when you desperately need one? Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, you know, that's pretty evident at times. Um, you know, obviously we'd like to probably try to get the ball on the caddy and maxi, so um, we have to design a couple different ways to get them the ball. Um, and then they have to deliver it, have to step around and make the post pass or things like that. Um, I thought our ball screen stuff, um, you know, coming off at the raise man and attack a little bit worked at times. It just didn't, uh, we didn't finish. You said you want to change some of the things that you do. Is it hard to be with a, with a travel day? And then I'm assuming an off day somewhere in the middle. Is, that, is it hard to do that between now? Well, when I when I when I say change, it, we can run what we're doing and just do it better and be more effective. I think we've had some practice time. When you look way back when our offense was kind of staggered a few, a few times ago, we worked on offense quite a bit, um, and uh, we got better for a little while. And then we you know had to do some different things and lineup changes and things of that nature. So it's uh, there's definitely a lot of work to do. So this is going to be a long couple of days. You mentioned toughness a couple times this year. Is it the same issues that are recurring, or do you see different things happening? Well, you know, you can't, you know, 37 to 30 on the rebounds. They had uh, 12 offensive rebounds. I think it was eight at the half, and then going to line, the free throw line 31 times. I mean, that shows that they were more aggressive and got to the free throw line. You know, we were supposed to be a team that was in the top whatever and uh, getting to the free throw line, and we went 20 times, and I thought eight of them were at the end of the game when it was when it was kind of over. So um, we probably need to start attacking the rim more and being a little bit tougher. And, you know, we are at the six falls with, I don't know, it felt like 17 minutes, and then we didn't hit the one and one until probably five or six minutes left in the game. So there was a stretch there where it looked like, you know, maybe we weren't, we weren't as aggressive. They went on that 17-1 run after Tyler gets his, like, three fouls in 30 seconds and Caddy picks up his fourth. Is, when you're going to be playing more physical as part of it, having to be a little smarter with, with making sure that those type of those foul situations aren't kind of hamstrung, you're not hamstrung by those in, in key spots in the game? Yes. What I'd like to say, um, we got to be a little smarter on the defensive end. And we, it hurt when uh, Tyler fought out and Caddy had four. I mean, that's that's when they went on a big run. It was kind of like one of those situations where I thought I thought we played pretty good defense, and you know, a couple calls that I didn't think were were great at that particular moment. So that's where it's at. I, I couldn't see your bench from where I'm sitting. Is Derek Gordon you just frustrated with how he's playing, or did, was he hurt? At all? You know, I didn't think about that. I. He wasn't hurt. Um, he played 25 minutes, but he was one for five, and so I was trying to give you know some other guys a chance. Um, I, thought he, I thought his energy was was good, but not as great as it could be. So, you know, there's other bodies over there. We're, I was looking for a spark, honestly. Maybe CJ, maybe Dante, maybe Zach. Um, I thought Tyler actually gave us a great spark. I thought he was playing very well, and then unfortunately he followed out um, pretty quickly in I guess 30 seconds or something along those lines. Kenny, we're banging with Endoy down low throughout the game when you're actually. On the court, what, how, did, how did you see that the matchup playing out? I and mean, was it frustrating when you know he, he's going at you and you pick up that fourth foul? Oh yeah, it was frustrating. Um, I thought the rest of the guys play, play a little bit more. Yeah, physical team, you know, two big guys going, you know, picking up the fouls and kind of change the game a little bit. Because 
you know, can't be that physical. Is that a mindset thing that you guys have to kind of get used to going into line ten play? If, I mean, if every game is going to be different, but the, if that's going to be the case moving forward. Oh yeah, I think it's something um, to think about a little bit. You know, how, how to attack um, defense and offense because you know, you're going to be into the team. Ken, for for yeah. Was this a game after? I mean, Derek said you guys were still talking. Was, was this kind of a, a soul searching moment for you guys at, after the game? Um, not really. I think we did that uh, before you know, after we had lost the problems. We did that. Um, it's just regrouping, get ready for the two road games. Some ways it's good to get <coughs> right back at it. You're in, in to try to put this one behind your back. Yes.